Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today we're gonna to talk about my favorite keyboard and my favorite mouse made for computers. This is the Logitech MX Keys and this is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3. Now these are sold separately and they work for both Mac and PC, though I use them for PC. The keyboard retails for about 120 US dollars and the mouse for about 80 US dollars. And yes, that is a bit expensive. However, these are actually high quality look great, and most importantly, have some great features. Now, I've been using this pair for a little over a year on three computers that I have in this studio, two of which are on one workstation, and then another one is a laptop in a different room. Now, before I go over all the things I like about these products, my favorite feature is that they each have the ability to connect to three different devices. On the keyboard and on the mouse, with the click of a button, you can switch between computer one, computer two, or computer three. And on top of that, both the keyboard and the mouse have the ability to connect via Bluetooth or via a USB type A wireless dongle. Now in my main studio, I have a setup that has two computers. Both of them can do video editing, photo editing, and one of them is for music production and music mixing. Now, sometimes I'm working on one computer and I put something to render or to export and that takes time. With this, I'm quickly able to switch to the next computer and then change the input on my monitor, which I have both computers connected to. And then now I can start working on the other computer. Now, this is also beneficial to people that have two or three computers, each with their own monitors. But in my setup, I just have the one monitor. But sometimes I'm not even working in the main studio and I'm working on a laptop in a different room. I'm able to easily take this with me, click a button, go to computer, three, and then now I'm able to control that laptop with this. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is both Mac and PC compatible. So you're actually able to connect to a Mac, to a PC, to another Mac or PC. Again, you have three different computers you can connect to. Now, because these are sold separately, in theory, you could have this connected to three different computers and then this connected to three different computers and then use a different mouse or a different keyboard, etc. But for me, this is my combo to go with the MX keys and the MX Anywhere 3. Now, I do have two of my computers hooked up via the USB type A dongle, but then I have these hooked up via Bluetooth on the laptop. So it's actually incredible to be able to have that flexibility. And you can pretty much use any combination you want. Now Logitech does have a pretty useful software that you can download to your Mac or PC to be able to enhance or even change some of the features on the keyboard and on the mouse. So you use that software to set up the pair to whatever computer. And then you can also change some of the functionality, some of the buttons. It's actually really useful. All right, so now let's talk a little bit more about the features of each product. Let's start off with the MX keys. Now, if you can see here, you can see how thin this actually is. It's extremely low profile and looks really sleek. This feels and looks high end. Now I have the all black version. Now they do have a Mac only version that has the keys showing just Mac. And that one has a combination of black and white. I'm not really a fan of that one. I really like the all black because my studio is mostly black. Now on the bottom, you do have several rubberized paddings, which allow it to not only keep from scratching your surface, but it actually grips really well. So it does not slip. Even if your desk or like for me, my lap desk, when I'm on the recliner is at a slant, it doesn't slip down. Now it does have a little heft to it. You can feel that it's a little sturdy, which is great, but also because of the internal battery and they each charge via a USB type C port. There is an on off switch on each device and I highly recommend when they're not in use to turn them off because the battery will drain over time. Now, one of the great features about this keyboard is that it does have illuminated keys. So that way you can actually see this in the dark. I actually edit most of the time in a dark environment. So having that really is helpful for me, though it does make the battery life a lot shorter. So if you wanna extend your battery life and you work in a bright environment, you can actually turn off the illuminated keys function. Now this keyboard does have a sensor and the lights on the keys will actually be off when it doesn't sense anything above it. But as soon as you start to put your hand over or you start typing, the lights will illuminate automatically, which I think is a great feature. That kind of does help conserve battery because the lights are not on all the time. Now, if you look closely, most of the keys have this really nice circular concave. The keys are actually pretty thin. And a lot of times thin keys don't really feel tactile when you're using them. But because of the concave, your fingertips fit perfectly. 
and it really does make the typing experience feel comfortable while also being tactile. Also, when it comes to typing, you don't need a lot of pressure to push the keys in. And for me, it has a very well balanced amount of resistance. So you really know when you're pressing keys. With the design and the build quality, it really does feel responsive and comfortable, allowing me to type very efficiently. Now, when it comes to the MX Anywhere 3, this mouse is actually really small. It's comfortable, it's easy to take around, and it does have several buttons that are programmable using the Logitech app. Now, the sensor at the bottom works really well in most surfaces. You don't really need a mouse pad. All the movement feels super smooth, and the actual scroll wheel at the top is sensitive to how hard you scroll. So if you're just generally scrolling through a page, you just move it as you normally would. But if you push it fast, if you kind of flick it, it actually does have this feature that allows you to just scroll faster. And that's actually really great if you're trying to get to the bottom of a long page. Now, both of them have pretty good battery life. I don't work every single day in my studio on the computer. Some days I'm there all day, and then some days I'm not there at all, and then some days I'm just on it for a few hours. So it really comes down to your personal use for how long a battery is going to last on these products. For me, I tend to have to charge my keyboard, I would say, every three weeks or so, and my mouse maybe every month and a half, two months. But I'll definitely say that the battery life is pretty good on each of these products. They're not incredible, but they are definitely not bad and they do charge pretty quickly. Each of them has a little LED indicator and they start to blink red when they're on low battery. And sometimes I'll just put it to charge for about half an hour and it'll still get me through an entire day of work. Now there really aren't things that I don't like about these. I've again been using this for over a year and they have made everything so much easier, so much faster and helped me from having more clutter in my studio. Now, like I said, I have been using both of these together for a little over a year now across three computers. And in all honesty, I don't really have anything to complain about them. They are very well built. They work extremely well. They do what they're supposed to do. And I'm able to use them across multiple computers. They're amazing. I highly recommend them. Again, they might seem a little pricey, but once you get them, you'll realize that they just really make everything better. If you're interested in getting them, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.